Welcome to Glass Technologies Scratch Hog Wet Application System. To prepare the scratch hog system for use, locate the SE stain eliminator and the pH fast additive products. Add one capful of each along with one gallon of distilled water into the portable water tank. Screw the lid on and pump the handle several times to build up pressure. You may also want to shake the tank to further stir the mixture. Locate the GFCI unit on the power cord of the polisher and push in the green reset button after plugging in the power cord to an appropriate outlet to establish power to the machine. Complete instructions on power requirements for the polisher are listed on the back of the GFCI unit for additional review if necessary. Familiarize yourself with the different connections and controls for the water feed features of the Scratch Hog Polisher, as well as a series of abrasive materials used in the restoration process. Identify the spindle locking button located on the polisher head of the machine. To use this feature, simply press and hold in the button while slowly rotating the spindle until a locked position is achieved. This eliminates the need for a separate wrench in tightening on and off the selection of backing pads. Warning: Never depress the locking button while the polisher is in operation as this can cause damage to the machine. Attach the hose of the water tank to the polisher by pushing the female quick connect onto the corresponding male fitting located at the butt of the machine. The two fittings should snap together indicating a secure connection. To disconnect the hose, simply press the release lever of the female fitting. Next, move your hand upward to the flow valve lever and position it to run parallel to the body of the machine. This will allow the water flow to continue up to the push button valve, which is then regulated by the technician. Next, clean the glass and clearly identify the area of scratches. Circle the damaged area from the opposite side of the glass using a dry erase marker or grease pencil. After selecting the appropriate abrasive, properly align and attach it to the vinyl surface of the PSA backing pad, followed by threading the backing pad onto the spindle of the polisher. For purposes of demonstration, we will be starting with the green disc, which is the most aggressive abrasive in the series. Finish tightening the backing pad onto the polisher by using the spindle locking button.
Wet the glass by aiming the polisher at the area of scratches and pressing the green button of the water feed. Place the machine flat on the glass and turn the machine on. Run the machine in an up and down and across pattern in relation to the direction of scratches while slightly overlapping the area and periodically pressing the green water feed button. Wet and clean the glass area after several passes of the machine to check the progress and identify whether the scratches have been removed. With the scratches removed, outline the cutting pattern or haze created by the sanding abrasive. Equip the polisher with the next abrasive pink in the series. and sand the outlined area in the same fashion as done previously, making sure to overlap approximately one inch. Wet and clean the glass after several passes to check your progress and identify whether the previous cutting pattern or haze has been eliminated and replaced by the existing one. It is especially helpful to compare the cutting pattern inside and outside the marked line in determining the consistency of the haze. Once it has been determined that the sanded area has a consistent look, outline the new cutting pattern. Equip the polisher with the next abrasive blue in the series. and sand the outlined area as done before. Wet and clean the glass after several passes to check for a consistent cutting pattern. If you notice inconsistencies in the cutting pattern, such as an incomplete circular pattern along the outer perimeter of the sanded area, it is likely due to the lack of even pressure or firm control on the machine. Additional practice at mastering these aspects of the process will result in improved efficiency of the equipment. Once it is determined that the sanded area has a consistent look, outline the new cutting pattern.
equip the polisher with the next abrasive orange in the series. and sand the outlined area as done before. As you move towards using the less aggressive sanding abrasives, it is recommended to slightly decrease the frequency of water while also increasing the number of passes over the area. Wet and clean the area after several passes to once again determine that a consistent cutting pattern or haze has been achieved. When finished with the orange abrasive, the glass should appear fairly clear or transparent while only a slight haze remains. If there are any noticeable inconsistencies or hazing appears heavy, it is recommended to go over the area again before moving to the final polishing step. Once the desired cutting pattern is achieved with the orange disc, clean the glass and outline the final cutting pattern. Equip the polisher with the white polishing disc. Wet the glass and run the polisher over the area a couple of times before adding any more water. This lack of water will increase the friction and break in the new surface of the white polishing disc. When small amounts of water are added later, the polishing compound on the surface of the disc will begin to loosen, evident by a milky coloration of the water mixture. This technique will accelerate the material's effectiveness. After achieving this effect, continue operating the machine for several more passes. Once you suspect that the glass is completely polished, wet the area and use the 6000 grit micro mesh cloth to loosen or remove the remaining polishing compound and wipe the glass clean for final inspection. Please note that there are alternatives to using the white polishing disc that are available in the form of felt and foam pads which are used in conjunction with the liquid and powder polishes also supplied in the system. These traditional polishing options are typically used as a more economical approach to removing very light or superficial scratches, water staining, or other types of surface deposits from the glass in a single step process.
Congratulations on a great glass scratch removal repair.